There are times in our lives where we pray for a miracle. In moments of loneliness, moments of adversity, and moments of pain, we just need some hope to carry us through. Sometimes miracles can change our whole world, and sometimes miracles are just kind people with good hearts. Today's inspirational list shows us the incredible power of human kindness and the strength a good heart can bring to people's lives. 15-year-old Courtney Johnson, or Coco as her friends and family call her, returns home from her final chemotherapy treatment after months at the hospital. With months of medical expenses and the COVID-19 outbreak, Coco's family couldn't throw her the welcome home celebration they had hoped for. As her family drove home from the hospital for the last time, they turned into their neighborhood and they were shocked by what they saw. Bus driver Darnell Barton followed his daily route driving 20 high school students when he noticed something out of the ordinary. While crossing a bridge, Mr. Barton sees a young woman standing on the other side of the guardrail, unnoticed by passers-by. As the bus pulls up, he asks the woman if she's okay. Ma'am, are you okay? She turns her head and looks down toward the traffic below. But then, something astonishing happened. She was, she was distraught. She was distant. She was really disconnected. I grabbed her arm and I put my arm around her and I said, do you, do you want to come on this side of the guardrail? And um, that was actually the first time she actually spoke to me. She said, yes. It was meant to be. I, I was supposed to be there uh, for her at that moment. And, and I was. I wanted to convey that, you know, whatever it was, I'm going to, we're going to help you through whatever it is. And it's not as serious as jumping onto the 198. During a wrestling match, wrestlers Helen Morales and Jenna Burkert compete for a spot on the U.S. Olympic team. The heated rivalry led to an emotionally charged final match between the two wrestlers, Morales wrestling with the Torin MCL and Burkert, whose mother had died the week before. Morales secured the win over Burkert, who seemed to only be facing moments of loss in her life. A victory celebration seemed assured, but when the two wrestlers approached each other, what happened next stunned fans and spectators. Losing her mom, and certainly you know that Helen knows all about that. In Perth, Australia, a man faced a moment of panic and danger while boarding a train. CCTV cameras in the station catch the harrowing moment on video when the man steps into the gap between the train and the platform. Authorities attempt to remove the man, but he is trapped firmly in place, creating a dangerous situation to rescue him from the painful ordeal. But then passengers are seen exiting the train in a moment of clarity, and what happens next is incredible. Concerned for the man's safety, the commuters work together for a single purpose and do what seems impossible. Slowly, they manage to lift the 28-ton train off the man and free him from being pinned inside. On October 12, 2016, Officer Chase Miller receives a dispatch call about a three-year-old that has stopped breathing. Arriving at the scene, he is met by a panicked mother and father carrying an unresponsive child to the officer. Officer Miller begins CPR on the child while his mother looks on in tears. The situation appears to be dire, but the officer does not give up on the child. A moment later, the child opens his eyes and takes a breath. He just seems like a very good man and 
a quiet and humble police officer. While everyone else is calling him a hero, he says he was simply just doing my job. I truly believe that any other officer that I work with would have been been there and done the exact same thing. After 60 weeks of chemotherapy, a young boy in St. Petersburg, Florida rings a bell to signal the end of his treatment. Jace was admitted to the hospital with a brain tumor before undergoing the 60-week ordeal. Doctors cleared him to leave the hospital following his last chemo treatment the week before Christmas. Jace and his family were overjoyed to be going home after receiving the best Christmas gift that anyone could wish for. Sometimes, the smallest gesture can change someone's world. This is true for Ibi Paracha. Ibi is deaf. The things that we take for granted become even more difficult for someone who cannot hear, like the simple act of ordering a cup of coffee. But one day, while ordering a cup of coffee, the woman at the counter handed Ibi a note. Prepared to write down his order, he opened the piece of paper, and he was shocked by what he saw inside. Crystal Payne had seen Ibby trying in frustration to place an order and quickly realized he could not hear. That night, Crystal went home and started learning American Sign Language to help Ibby place his order, just like everyone else. To the world, you may only be one person, but to one person, you may be the world. 89-year-old Eska Miller of Texas had a tradition of saying goodbye to his granddaughter. One day, as her mom drove her home, a young Haley Gomez looked out her car window and saw the sweetest goodbye of her life. Her grandfather was running alongside the car, waving goodbye to the girl he loved. As Haley grew older, these goodbyes became a tradition. And thinking back to when she was young, she couldn't remember a time when her grandfather wasn't running alongside the car to say goodbye to her. It only takes a moment to do the right thing. This is true for sanitation worker Billy Shelby. Shelby was on his daily route when he witnessed 88-year-old Opal Zucca struggle and fall while taking in her trash cans. He quickly jumped off his truck and ran to her side. And when she fell, of course, I jumped out the truck and uh, ran over there and I could tell she was in distress. Opal, who has dementia, required medical care due to the fall. Mr. Shelby called an ambulance and wrapped the lady in his coat to keep her warm. He waited with her until help arrived and then finished his trash route. After the incident, Opal's daughter would check up on her mother using a ring doorbell camera. But when she looked at the footage, she was astonished by what she saw. Each Tuesday while on his route, Billy Shelby would stop at Opal's house and empty her trash cans. But afterward, he would get out of his truck and take Opal's arm, escorting her safely back to her house while he wheeled her trash can up to the garage. A small act of kindness, forming an unexpected friendship between the two. All it took was a person willing to take a moment out of their day to make sure someone else was okay. 21-month-old Joseph Tidd was like any other happy toddler, except that he had been born with only one arm. Too young to understand why kids looked at him differently, he was confused when other children would grab at his arm. His mother worried about his confidence and self-vision. But one day, while watching a soccer game, Joseph discovered an inspiring person about to enter his life. Orlando Pride player Carson Pickett saw the young boy in the stands and ran over to meet him. She greeted him with a beautiful smile and then reached out to shake his hand. Joseph's eyes lit up and a giant smile formed across his face when he realized this person was just like him. Since that moment, Joseph and Carson have become good friends, and the athlete has become an inspiration to him. A small act of kindness, showing us that we are all an inspiration in someone's life.